What's going on YouTube? Got some questions from a subscriber. And I uh, got some free time right now. I uh, gotta go up to the club and uh, pick somebody up down here in Olive Branch, Mississippi, of course, for the weekend. So by the time you see this video, we'll be checking out, I'll be checking out. Uh, subscriber wanted to know, was lease purchase worth it? Or should I have stayed uh, a company driver with night transportation throughout the whole year? It's a good question. Um, I left night in April of this year. Uh, if I stayed with them, um, I would have averaged about $1,000 a week. Um, that's take home, of course. So from April, if I would have stayed with them in April and continued on to December, I, I would have, like I said, I would have averaged about $1,000 a week. Uh, not really going home too much because I, I didn't really go home at all at night. Uh, if I did, they only allowed me maybe two or three days at the house at most. Um, and that was usually like once a month. Um, now, as far as lease purchase, um, it really depends on how you want to, how you want to put it. Um, you know, most people don't see lease purchase or renting or buying your own truck or financing. It's not a lot of people see it as, uh, being better than the company driver position, um, you know, throughout the year, I didn't, I'm subscribed to a lot of people on YouTube, right? So, throughout the year, as I have uh, talked badly about whatever whatever was going on with me at the time, I would see videos from smaller YouTube channels on how lease purchase isn't worth it and how somebody's taking all your money and uh, how you make, you know, no paycheck and, you know, things like that. And, uh... You know, a lot of people get misled because I guess they ain't never did it. And uh, this is the way I see lease purchase, okay? Uh, first, I wouldn't be doing it if it wasn't worth it, okay? That's number one. It's nothing for me to uh, go to a different company. Now, would I go back tonight? No, I wouldn't go back tonight. Um, the main reason for it is uh, I was just for the night driver. And uh, right here in Memphis... He's got him a camera in his truck. I just wanted to see what it what it was like, and uh, the camera was facing him. That's all. That's that's dope. Can't do it. Uh, I just see I see way too many things wrong with a camera facing the driver. Uh, I, I don't know about y'all, but uh, I'm, it's a lot of a lot of y'all out there uh, when y'all driving a truck. You are gonna um, find yourself. How can I put it? Okay, put it like this. The rules and regulations in trucking does not fit reality, okay? In reality, a lot of y'all are going to be on your phone driving. Uh, some of y'all, if you got, if you like me, you got your phone hooked up to the radio and you, you probably use it as an MP3 player. You probably watch YouTube going down the road or whatever you do. Uh, like I said, in reality... Some of y'all use y'all phones. Some of y'all get on the CB. Uh, y'all do a lot of things that if you ever read the green book, technically you're breaking the rules. And uh, with that front-facing camera, uh, it's just not a good idea. It's not a good idea at all. Um, no, I, I, don't, I can't, I don't see nothing. I don't see the use of it for a driver. Uh, I mean, if you crash, you don't even have to tell the freaking police officer what happened because they already got it on tape. Uh, you just finna get sued. I mean, I don't, I don't see how a camera is going to help you. Uh, even if the camera faces the other way, uh, like just take it. Just look at Swift for example. Um, it's a lot of drivers out there sliding up and down I eighty. Uh, usually most of the mega carriers, but uh, with, with them front-facing cameras, man, y'all don't even have 
no say so in court. I mean, it's pretty clear what happened. Uh, you tried to break, couldn't stop the truck, and you either rolled over or slammed into somebody. And, uh, man, that's the end of your CDL, or either you got an accident on file, which that's hard to even get half for. So, uh, no, I wouldn't go back tonight, cause, just because the things have changed. That's all that is. Uh, but uh, as far as lease purchase, the way I see it is, if I was averaging $1,000 at night, and when I say average, some pages might have been like 800 some might have been 1200 take home, but it all averaged like $1,000 a week. I didn't really go home, so, uh, yeah, I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't go home whatsoever at night. That's how I was able to put out so many videos on YouTube uh, when I was with night. Pretty much damn near every day I had a video or two videos or whatever the case may be. But uh, when it comes to lease purchase, the way I see it is how many paychecks do I have since I've been doing it that's under $1,000? Um, when I first did lease purchase, I started with Interstate. I spent my first 30 days being dispatched and uh, only one paycheck was I believe below a thousand dollars and that was the six hundred dollar paycheck I showed y'all. Uh, the rest of them, uh, they were still over a thousand dollars even though it had, on, it had either a sign on bonus or a referral bonus. I still made over a thousand dollars take home and uh, I wouldn't have got that being a, a company driver, okay? Or, I mean, the sign-on bonus is for, it was, I guess, I, I think it's for own operators only, but. Um, then I got put on the low board, and on the low board, there was no checks below $1,000. Uh, maybe if I would have broke down or been in the shop or had that type of experience, then I probably would have uh, had low paychecks maybe, but. Once I got put on the low board, that was damn near no home time at all. I mean, I was out there. I was running forever. <laughs> I'll still be out there running now without going home. <laughs> Would have lost all kinds of relationships. But anyways, uh, once I got put off the low board, that's when my uh, first experience of going in the hole or having no paycheck at all came in. Uh, once I got put off the low board, of course, I was being treated unfairly at the time. So uh, it went from us having no freight in the area to just not getting the load at all. Just uh, there was no loads, uh, at least for me. But uh, and the thing about interstate is, uh, you know, uh, I would because I got friends that was working at Interstate, I could call them up, have them find me a load on the load board and give me the load, uh, the, um, the load number on the load board. And I would call up a dispatch and be like, hey, assign me to this particular number. And that's how I would get my loads to sort of survive my way out the hole. Like just because the companies do some dirty shit. But uh, once that dropped off, like I said, now if you want to count that time, I believe uh, after I got put off the low board, I think I was with them three weeks back to dispatch. Uh, all in paychecks was under a thousand, of course. Um, but like I said, it was because of some something, something had happened, and that's why the paychecks was like that. Then I switched over to my new company, and uh, I'm gonna say uh, I was with them maybe 80 days. Oh, might have been less than that, but my first month was cool. All the paychecks was over a thousand. Uh, the second month, I think I only did two months. I believe I did a month and two weeks, but I'm not too sure. Um, pretty much every paycheck was over a thousand dollars until I took the load uh, that I didn't make it to uh, Chicago. And uh, if y'all really want to know what happened. We couldn't reschedule the load until like two or three weeks later because of, uh, it was like the Walmart situation. They was taking in way too many trucks, not enough dot doors, not enough workers. So it was like people that was, it was people, so many carriers booked up for like two weeks straight. So that's how I ended up. That's why I took the load home. Just, and then I made the holidays too. So that was good for me. But, um. That put me in the hole. I don't. I still don't know how much it put me in the hole. I ain't did the paperwork. If y'all want to know, 
uh, main reason I ain't did the paperwork is because there's no incentive to do the paperwork. Uh, there's no paycheck. This is, I mean, I get a settlement. It's gonna be negative, but uh, that's why I ain't did the paperwork. But I'm gonna do the paperwork. I believe paydays are Tuesdays, so at least I can figure out how much I'm gonna hold. But matter of fact, I do gotta do the paperwork because I gotta get my uh, my escrow for turning in that trailer. Um, so I probably wear in the hole. Let me see. My truck note was six ninety five. The trailer was three fifty. We just gonna round it up to a thousand. So I took two weeks off. That's two thousand. Uh, then my final week, we just gonna say I was maybe three thousand. Um, then you toss in insurance for those three weeks, maybe thirty eight hundred. Um, then you toss in. The escrow, because that's the escrow is a bill here, believe it or not. Um, you toss in the escrow, they put like two hundred dollars in your escrow a week. Uh, that, that's two four six, so damn near four thousand dollars in the hole. Um, like I said, if I was to um, this my the last company I went to, you didn't have a choice. They they took the escrow out, and the main reason for it is uh, it's really just stealing from the drivers. That's all it is. Uh, I don't know why anybody would have an escrow at their company because uh, this is what's going to happen, okay? Uh, like I said, I'm in the hole like $4,000, right? So when I return the equipment, you're supposed to get the escrow back, right? Well, guess what? I owe like $4,000. What you think the escrow is going towards? You guessed it. It's going go to go to what all that shit I owe, so... Uh, that's why you shouldn't have escrow with a company because that's what's going to happen. They're just going to steal the money that you already earned from pe previous paychecks. But uh, anyways, um, I guess that answered your question. So was it worth it? Of course it was worth it. Um, otherwise, I wouldn't be doing it. Uh, by the way, the truck is out there in the parking lot. Uh, I'm in my favorite hotel. So the truck is still with me. Uh, we have found a job for the truck, so the truck is not going to be returned back to quality unless I change my mind. But uh, the company I'm going to, tell you the truth, it wasn't, put it like this. I took a look at the list, the quality list, and uh, I probably pulled about six companies off that list that I wanted to go to from first place to last place, okay? The company that that wanted me right now was the company in last place, okay? Uh, now, as far as the port and Intermotor goes, and 